Hi, my name is Stephanie Spicer and I'm a Limey. Whether you use a Rife machine, long-term antibiotics, oxygen therapy, or any other treatment to kill your Lyme bacteria, you're going to experience something called a Jerish Herxheimer reaction, called simply a Herx for short in the Lyme disease community. The reaction was first observed by two doctors named Jerish and Herxheimer in patients they were treating for syphilis, another spirochetal bacteria disease. To quote Wikipedia, a Jerish Herxheimer reaction is a reaction to endotoxin like products released by the death of harmful microorganisms within the body during antibiotic treatment. Efficacious antimicrobial therapy results in lysis, destruction, of bacterial cell membranes and in the consequent release into the bloodstream of bacterial toxins, resulting in a systemic inflammatory response. In other words, when you succeed in killing bacteria, they release a lot of toxic waste into your bloodstream, causing inflammation throughout your system. In Lyme patients, this often manifests as a bad case of whatever symptoms you were already experiencing before the treatment. To put it simply, a Herx means getting worse before you get better. Going back to Wikipedia, Jerish Herxheimer reactions can be life-threatening as they can cause a significant drop in blood pressure and cause acute end-organ injury, eventually leading to multi-organ failure. Herx reactions are no joke. They need to be taken seriously. Theoretically, they can kill you, especially if you have heart problems. It is extremely dangerous to keep killing and killing bacteria without doing the necessary cleanup, which should take the form of ongoing detox. As I always mention in my videos, I'm not a doctor or a medical professional, so what I say shouldn't be taken as medical advice. Please follow medical advice on this and take the necessary precautions. All this being said, before I started treatment, I actually quit my job because I was expecting to be spending a lot of time in bed due to herxing. As it turned out, my herxing was actually much milder than I expected it to be. After a little while, I realized I could go back to working part-time and then full-time, and I was able to manage doing so while keeping up with my treatment plan. Herxing can be pretty miserable, and it's important to take care of yourself during this time, taking the rest you need, detoxing, absolutely essential, and replenishing what your body loses during the detox process, especially minerals and most especially magnesium. It's a good idea to start detoxing before the Herx actually hits, and a better one to make detox a part of your daily routine, regardless of your treatment schedule. So that's it for now. We'll go on to talk about other subjects in the upcoming videos, but until then, I just want to encourage you to keep on fighting until it's over.